Hey guys, and welcome back to the Logan Stover Show. I, as always, am Logan. And I still am Matt. You sure? Yeah, I think so. I think you're still sure. Yeah. You know, um, we're pretty open on the show, right, about ourselves, and we don't hide anything from our listeners, right? We don't. We're very open. Except where we work. <laughs> yeah, except for... <laughs> Everything you know, else, the, the we're, uh, we're an open book. The secret agencies that we work for. Um, I feel like there are things about us and the show that uh, we do off the air that people should know about us. I don't think it's going to surprise anybody when we tell them about it, but... Um, what were we doing right before? Not when you were being creepy or anything. <laughs> before that, or sometimes Matt can get a little that. bit creepy. No, he yes. does. He tries to be funny, uh, and and That's I tell weird. him, "Be funny too on the air. You're funny." Um, what what were we? What was is our normal thing that we do before we? So our our pre show ritual is yep. jamming out to the sweet tunes of the eighties and nineties. We love the eighties jams and the early nineties jams. Such a great jams. time for music. It really was. So while we're getting everything set up in the studio so you can kind of picture here, so you know just kind of close your eyes. Imagine this. <laughs> Logan and Matt in the studio. We've got our headsets on. We uh you know get our computers, we're getting all the programs running for what we need to do and careless whisper just oh, playing in the background. Just get you in the mood. Oh man, dude! And watch, and I get to watch the video because I play it on my computer. So I'm watching George Michael and his sweet serenade, you know, in that with, it was in a dark room with a spotlight down on him, you know, just making love to the microphone. Those classic '80s, '90s. And uh, we have uh, an official. We, what did I say? Official, unofficial theme song to the show. We do. <laughs> and I'd say it's more of just because we played it the last like six times that we've yeah, recorded. Yeah, we've, we've taken a liking to the song for sure. And I think it's a, we also have a fascination with the video because I showed you the video last week. And <laughs> it was it's the just, first time I've ever seen it. And it, it took the, another step. but uh, greatest what, I've ever seen. What is the song that is our official unofficial theme song of the show? Africa. Africa by Toto. Toto's so, Africa. I guess the rain's down in Africa. And if you don't know that song, please YouTube it, Google it, check it out. We have a it's life changing, and you can have discussions Watch the video. about it too. Yeah, that's one of the things is like everybody knows the chorus to it, and we talked about it. Like everybody knows the chorus, but you do know you, it, but you don't. Yeah, like, do you, you know, like you know it, but like if if someone asked you to write the lyrics down, you would never be able. Yeah, to Yeah, like it. you wouldn't. And I told you about like my old roommate who like could recite it word for word for word, and nobody one of two people that can of, probably do that. Yeah, like the lead singer of Toto probably can't no. recite it. And then it's like you you ever, you know songs like that, like you know the chorus, but then when you really think about it. You don't know the words to the chorus. No, you're yeah. just like making stuff up. Yeah, and, just like yeah. humming the little beat. Yeah. And and I had to ask Matt before the show saying like, hey, do you think it's okay if I play this song on the air and not get in trouble by it? And Matt was like, I don't know, man. So you're stuck with me like singing the parts of it. I'm just kind of like, oh, well. Just YouTube it. I kiss the rains down in Africa. See, even that does it for me. So, But that's the thing. Is it like, is it I kiss the rains down in Africa? I miss the rains down in Africa? I don't know. I've. The mists of the rain down? Uh, who knows? So, hey, there's a perfect spot to get in touch with us at <laughs> loganstovershow.com. Matt, that's called a segue. I learned that in broadcasting school. Very nice. I like it. Yeah. Expertly yeah. done. Expertly done. Yeah, get a hold of us at the Logan Stover Show. Uh, hopefully Ooh. you were listening to the last segment because that's probably the only way you're going to know about what we're going to talk about next. True. Because if you're just tuning in now, uh, shame on you. Go back to the beginning and uh, listen to us talking about us complaining about chores because there's nothing better than two 30 plus year old men talking about <laughs> talking about complaining about how terrible it is to be an adult yeah and you know and like all the things like ah oh, having to clean and vacuum but uh, uh, dishes uh <laughs> there's no segue into into talking about bass pro shops after no, all that really not. um you know they didn't teach me how to segue from toto's africa into <laughs> into uh shop. talking about bass pro shops yeah, there's no elegant way to do that i don't think but bass pro shops uh is something that you and i both love dearly we have uh, a passion for it we've talked about that we wish that there was one closer the closest one to us is in rancho cucamonga california mm -hmm. it's about an hour away from here uh still it, it's it's a cool bass pro shops but we're doing this segment because there's a lot of people that don't know about bass pro shops shame on you and that's something that i cannot have our listeners going out their daily lives and not knowing the majesty that is bass no pro i mean shops. it's essentially our civic duty to make sure everyone knows right and understands the bass pro shop yeah, yeah, uh, a bit of an, an overstatement, but yeah, yeah, it's our civic civic duty. <laughs> Vote and go to Bass Pro Shops. Yes, that's what we do, and, and tell you about Bass Pro Shops. Matt, what was uh, the first Bass Pro Shops you went to, or the one that you remember the most? Oh, the first Bass Pro Shops I went to was in Houston, Texas. Um, I remember that 
Uh, the one I've been to most was the one in Georgia, where I lived for quite a period of time before moving to Southern California. Um, but oh, how do you how do you describe Bass Pro Shops for the uninitiated? For somebody that's never seen a Bass Pro Shops or can't explain it, um, I would say it's it's like a giant log cabin that it looks like your crazy uncle who hunts would decorate. Mm-hmm. Uh, with with everything the outdoorsman could ever imagine. It, it's almost like if you died and went to heaven and you were an outdoorsman, that's what you're looking at, decorated it, by your crazy uncle in a giant cabin. Exactly what it would be, yeah. Yes. No, it's it's the great outdoors under a roof with things you can buy. It is, it is. And it's yeah. insane because there's everything from archery stuff to... Uh, by the way, this is a good time to tell everybody we're not sponsored by Bass Pro Shops. We just, we just really, love it. We just really love this store. Love it. Uh, there's archery, guns, fishing, clothes, women's clothes, boats, uh, a- a- ATVs. Camping gear. Yeah, ATV. Yeah, that's right. ATVs, boats. Uh, uh, yeah, one of our uh, one of our camera everything. stands is is uh, provided by Bass Pro Shops. That is true. I mean, that is true. Pro- yeah. Provided meaning I had to go buy it, and um, <laughs> it, it's not meant to be a camera stand. It's meant to be a folding table for camping. But hey, but when you way works great when you run a low budget podcast. That's what you do. Thanks, Bass Improvise. Pro Shops. Logan at loganstovershow dot com <laughs> if you want to talk to me. Send a gift card. So it's kind of weird because a lot of people might be thinking like, oh, well, so if you get a chance and you're listening now on your computer or on your phone, I guess, you know, I'm out of Dutch with de- technology. You could probably do a lot of things now on, on whatever you're listening to us. At. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have your phone in front of you, Basically, grab it. anybody yeah, who's yeah. not listening to us on an iPod shuffle, go and check out <laughs> BassProShops.com and just click on locations on there and just pick any random one and you'll see how insane this is. Um, they have full size fish tanks in there. When I say fish tanks, I mean like fish like bass, right? Like eight, nine pound, large oh, yeah. mouth, small mouth bass, yeah. or in their catfish, carp, it's massive fish. Yeah, yeah. They even have bluegill. There's bluegill fish in there, and you can actually fish in them too. Yeah, you can. Yeah, and that's the cool part. They have fishing demonstrations. Yeah. They'll let you do all that stuff. Um, Sarah and I uh, took a trip uh, over there. She had never been to a Bass Pro Shops. And do you remember the show Last Man Standing with uh, Tim Allen? Yeah, absolutely. Re- recently canceled. Oh. Don't talk about Republican stuff too much because then I can't <laughs> you. Uh, anyway, it was a great show. And, I, and it's funny because I'm a Democrat uh, and I'm not too politically motivated or anything that I am politically motivated I shut up about. Um, and I don't go out there blabbing unless I'm going to make a change about it uh, or I feel like I need to go make changes. Anyway, we don't get political on the show. But it's a, a, a that show was like highly Republican motivated. But my wife and I, both Democrats, absolutely love the show. And he works. It's like just the satire of it. Right. It's, hilarious. it's just hilarious. And he yeah. works at a uh, faux bass pro shops. It's called Outdoor Man. But even the front of the show when they shoot the shot, it's a bass, it's a bass pro, pro shop. shop. Yeah. It's an outdoor world bass pro shops. Um, and so my wife got really into that show. And when I told her, I said, hey, you know, it's a real place, right? Well, I had to explain to her it's not the one where Tim Allen works and all of that yeah. stuff. But it is a real place. And um, so I surprised her that I said uh, – it was like on a Sunday, I said, let's go down to the Great Park in Irvine and go walk around. We got in the car, and I said, um, and still to right now, she'll, she'll say that I'm lying, but I had it planned out. Um, she said, or I asked her, I was like, hey, do you want to go on an adventure? And she was like, sure. Took her to Bass Pro Shops, drove out to Ranch Cucamonga. Had to even have a, a restaurant, a mm-hmm. full-scale fish restaurant. Yeah, they had a game. NASCAR games. Mm-hmm. Uh, NASCAR was, and shooting games. <laughs> NASCAR <laughs> and shooting games. Yeah, they had the whole thing. Yeah. Like It was like, I don't know, like, 120 feet long with all the stuff like the little uh pheasants like fake yeah. pheasants and fake deer and all that stuff and you pay mm-hmm. 50 cents and you go and you shoot it it's just it's so awesome yeah um and it's, it's like an amusement park in a in a walmart right it is and it's oh, a big yeah, deal and the, the thing is is like the size of these bass pro shops if you've never seen one and then when you finally do see it there's no way to really do it justice because of how large these really are we talked about it before we've both flown into uh dfw airport mm-hmm. in dallas uh Sorry, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I don't want to short Fort Worth on anything. Um, but it is, from when you're landing in the plane, you notice uh, a couple of things. You And what were the things you said that you noticed? The, the two things you notice are the Dallas Cowboys Stadium mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the Bass Pro Shop. Bass Pro Shop, yeah. Those you are the see, two most recognizable landmarks from the sky. Yeah, you see the airport yeah. when you're coming in close, and you see the Bass Pro Shop, and then you see Cowboys Stadium. And if anybody knows Cowboys Stadium, it is it's ginormous. Huge. 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 <laughs> we said we weren't going to get political. Anyway, <laughs> but it is ginormous. So if you've never been to a Bass Pro Shop, some of you may not be close to it. Uh, 
We have fans. Worth the trip. We have fans all over the country. So there's chances are there's one, especially if you're in the South. Uh, I say fans all over the country, everywhere except Ohio. I understand. I've already, <laughs> I've already distanced. Yeah, already uh, ruined your relationship with oh, that state. Ohioans, Ohio, Ohioites. I feel like Ohioans. I feel like Ron Burgundy in San Diego. San Diego at San, uh, Ohioans. You an Ohioan? Oh, oh, hi. Ohioan. <laughs> what are you? I'm Ohioan. Oh man, you know when I when we started this show, I figured that we uh, we might alienate somebody just with our, you know, someone be like, I really right off the bat, I <laughs> really don't like those guys. I never thought that it would just be It'd the be state Ohio. of Ohio, uh, but it's it's. I say we, you know, so I'm bringing you into it now when you had nothing to do with at it. all. It was me, and, and like my family is like from, Ohio. from Ohio. Yeah, uh, one of the many places that they're from. Uh, they're from all over the place. But anyway, um, when you when was the last time you went to the Bass Pro Shop? Which one did you go to? Uh, so the last time I went was the one in Georgia, just briefly uh, just before I moved out here. So it's been about a year. I haven't made the trip to the one out here. What uh, you When you would go to the Bass Pro Shop, yeah. would you go to get specific items, like if you're going to Target, or do you go to just make a trip of it um, and or both? 50-50, really. Sometimes I would go um, – I fished a lot when I was in Georgia – um, so I would go get stuff for that. Um, other times I would just have nothing better to do. So I would go waste a day wandering around Bass Pro Shop. Did they have uh, a restaurant at the one that you went to? They did. They did. Was it a like fish house type mm-hmm. restaurant? And that? Yeah. Did you ever uh, eat there? Um, I have not yet had the fish there. The fish there. Whoa. I've had other stuff. Wait a minute. What did you have there? Um, the one I had had like it was more uh, had like the like the fish and chips. Okay. And then just other kinds of random. Like you get like burgers, hot dogs. Okay. Like what did you order? I would usually get like a drink, and like a hot dog or like, a corn dog or something like that. Very original, I know. But you go to past pro shops and you get. I know. Well, I know. <laughs> well, I can't judge you for that. You went to the Bass Pro Shops, and, okay. and that's enough. Fair enough. Um, Fair enough. It, you know what was funny is that when uh, Sarah and I went to the restaurant, of course they saw the fish and chips. I love fish and chips. For all of you uh, out there who listen to the show, all now there's eight people who listen to the show, by the yes. way. Eight people who listen to growing the show. Growing numbers. Yes, growing rapidly from seven to eight. Uh, there's a few foods that I absolutely love, so if they're on a menu, they pretty much always just will be my pick. Okay. What uh, are those? So one of them is chicken fried steak. Oh, always uh, good. If I see Love chicken it. fried steak, had that the other night. Uh, one of my best friends, Jeff, high five. He knows the thing. We used to do that every time we'd go. When we were in high school, uh, we'd work late nights at a place, and we'd go get chicken fried steak at like 11 oh, at night. Very good. And at the same time, we thought it'd be funny when the waitress said, what would you guys like? We'd both look at each other, look at her, and go, chicken fried steak. And then we'd high five <laughs> each other at the table at Denny's. Um, so we carry on the tradition, and my wife just looks at me like, what is going on? <laughs> So uh, why why did I choose him? So chicken fried steak, and then the other is fish and chips. Okay, um, pretty much anything is breaded. In, anything is breaded and fried. Yeah. Uh, so fish and chips. So I thought like, okay, fish and chips. They look kind of cool. Uh, I saw like one other person like they brought them out at the you know at the table like across from. I was like, whoa, they're like big old pieces. It's a mountain of fish and chips. Of course, because like they they I'm assuming they go and they caught it in the tank of the <laughs> ten pound fish that's ten over minutes there. ago. Yeah. Ten minutes ago, and then breaded it and fried it up. Um, and then when um. It's funny, like, when I put in my order, I guess, like, the other 50 tables around us, you know, had just ordered before we did. No joke. There's probably 50 tables. 47 of them were brought out fish and chips. Really? And when my food comes, my fish and chips, uh, my wife ordered, like, a cop salad. Uh, she's fancy like that. And no joke. I see it's, like, fish and chips. And I tell my wife, I was like, how, like, bored must you be as the cook back there? <laughs> just making fish and chips all day like, long. Like, that's all you do. And, like, I felt bad. Like, when I ordered the fish and chips, I was like, man, now there's, like, a cook back there who's, like, really real creative, bro. Real <laughs> original ordering the fish and so chips. So now I don't feel so bad about not getting the fish and chips. Yeah, so you <laughs> think. Once you put it in perspective. Yeah, so you think that you went in there and you got a hot dog and you're like, oh, this old original hot dog. But in comparison to it, you got, like, the creme brulee. The most unique thing on the menu. You got the most <laughs> unique thing. Like when your order came in at the Bass Pro Shop restaurant. I was like, finally. And the guy's yes. like, oh, thank you, Lord. Somebody give me a something to make that's a difficult. Apparently. Because <laughs> yeah, hot dogs are so difficult to make, right? Yeah, it's the very yeah. difficult. Luigi, come and make the hot dog. Apparently Mario and Luigi work at Bass Pro <laughs> Shops. Like Italian plumbers make, uh, their, make, you know, make the fish and chips. Make the stuff. Well, they only do the hot dogs and the hamburgers. Okay. So like they sit there and be like, oh, Mario, I wish we had something to cook. Everybody ordered the fusion of chips. Ding, here comes the order. Oh, it's the hot dog, Mario. Let's make it. It's <laughs> gentlemen a mat. We make it very good for him with the ketchup. <laughs> oh, who come to the Bass Pro Shop and order the hot dog? He does. Yeah. This guy. <laughs> well, at least I made someone's day. 
you know, sometimes uh, after I do things, I think about what happens up in my head. And oh, um, it's best not to think about that. I I don't I don't think anybody should really go in there. It's a dangerous place. Yeah, my wife said when we were first dating, she was like. I really just kind of wish I could see like what it is that you think like in there. And I said, you don't, you don't want to mm, know. No, 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 no. You want to know stuff. Nightmares are made of. Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, you know, when like people, they show like in movies and they like touch something and they're like, like vortex and like another thing. <laughs> like that's what happens. But then all of a sudden you see like a glimpse bass pro shops, Mario and Luigi cooking hot dogs. When everybody orders fish and chips. Oh, no, don't show me anymore. <laughs> don't no more. show me anymore. Oh man. We were good at digressing in this show. <laughs> we are yeah i you Once know again, I our favorite subject i always assume uh that we'll digress on this show oh, it's um, a given. but uh ending up with mario and luigi as cooking hot dogs at past pro shops and being excited that you ordered it not not on my radar but um but it happened still good nonetheless um if mario and luigi worked at a bass pro shops uh you know that they'd use their discount uh, to get something from there. What would Mario and Luigi working at Bass Pro Shops, what would they be into of all the mm. different hobbies and stuff that they have? That's a good question. Probably get some trapping equipment and just trap the mushrooms. Trap the mushrooms, that's pretty good. It's yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, bigger good. traps. I was thinking like, well, maybe they'll be into like guns and stuff like that, but they're not really into yeah, like that whole type of violence. Kind of guys, no. no. They might do the camping stuff. They might do camping and fishing. Maybe. Maybe do that. They might do backpacking. Maybe they would do that. Uh, do a little spelunking down the pipes. Right, right. I didn't see Mario and Luigi when uh, Sarah and I went. Um, Sarah and I are in. They the had a day off. I don't think they, they usually work Sundays. Off. Well, I wouldn't have known. I didn't. I didn't order the hot dog or anything. Okay. So I ordered the fish and chips. So I just got the regular angry, you know, bitter dude who's making the <laughs> fish and chips. Um, he still did a great job, though. By the way, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sarah and I are really into camping. Uh, we're excited because it's coming up on camping season. Yes. So. Um, Sarah was telling me, when are we going camping? She's having to, like, figure out times after the guy's camping mm -hmm. trip, which is kind of a bummer because usually we would have gone camping, like, by now maybe once or twice. Yeah. Uh, but if you're into camping uh, or, like, any other stuff, like, Bass Pro Shops has so much stuff. It is the place to be. We've we've done a pretty good job over, like, the last year and a half, two years of, like, we don't go and, like, drop, like, $1,000 and buy all this stuff. We went and bought, like, the basic essentials, tents, mm -hmm. sleeping bag, stove, right. all that stuff. But we'll, we'll go and we'll take trips and we'll add, like, little stuff to our inventory. Uh, so you'll be happy when we go on the guy's camping trip that you actually have some stuff to use. Nice. Um, but when you go to the Bass Pro Shops, like, and you see this stuff, you're like, I can't believe, like, we thought we had everything we needed. There's stuff here I oh, didn't always even find something know that we you, needed. That you need. Yeah. You know one of the things that's, like, I've wanted, and it's, like, secretly I kind of want it, but... I just never, you know, go and get it. Is one of those portable showers that has like the tarp like around it. It's one of the like the solar portable showers. Yes, yeah. But they have yeah. the ones now where there's the old school ones that you're probably thinking yeah. of. But there's the new ones that it's almost like a tent material, so it has like the poles in it mm -hmm. for like a tent. It's like a little like a little stall, right? And yeah, then yeah. you can turn it into an outhouse slash mm -hmm. uh, the thing. And then it's funny yeah. because like the the toilet portion is like a Home Depot bucket that you snap on. Yeah, it has the, like the little the little the, lid the on it. Toilet yeah, lid yeah, on top, yeah. but it's still like you know bring your own Home Depot bucket, uh, which is fine. I have a Home Depot bucket, but when we're going camping, there's a bathroom. Um, I was, <laughs> <laughs> really didn't want to go there but like this thing and it has like the little shower yeah. and then it, and it has like the heated thing and then there's even one that has the little solar panel that's built into the top of it that's fancy that will heat up the little water reserve and the water runs through it and it does that and i was like a i really don't shower when i go camping nope you're welcome that's why the guys camping trip are really excited to get home i'm not excited <laughs> when we shower off. when we all climb in my car mm -hmm. at the end of it, it is not that's why this year I'm glad that a lot of us are driving separate. Yes. Um, yeah, but you're, you're driving back from a camping trip with a full car, never an enjoyable experience. Have you, uh, <laughs> when you've gone camping, have you showered while you were camping and then like went no. back to the campsite before? Um, so, I mean, the closest I've ever come to showering is like jumping in a river. Yeah. Yeah, there aren't That's a lot of rivers sick. around here. No. We have like the Santa Ana River. I won't recommend jumping no, in I that. would, no. And then the Colorado River, which is like nowhere near. Dirtier than. Yeah, yeah. You might not come out. You might get like hobo shanked. <laughs> um,. I don't know where I was going with this, but uh, camping stuff. You, but when I, it was funny because when I went camping the uh, one time that uh, I actually went and took a shower because I had a coin. The ranger gave me a coin to take a shower, so it was like after dinner and the sun was like setting, uh, and I went and took a shower and I came back and I felt so awkward because I was really clean, and I'm in like a really dirty environment. 
There's just no point. It just didn't There's feel just right. No point in showering. Which it was nice being clean and yeah. everything like that. But um, I liked it that night when I went to sleep because I smelled okay, as opposed to like two, three days <laughs> of not showering and climbing into your sleeping bag. Yeah. Like, nah, nah. But still, so I- I'm still up in the air about when we go on the guys' camping trip. But um, I- if we had the time, I don't think it's really feasible. But it would be nice to go to the the Bass Pro Shops, uh, do like a camping run through, and go there. Do we need anything? No, I think we we've got it all covered. We don't need anything, but if we say that Between there's something we might need. my stash and your stash, I think we're probably yeah. more than well-equipped. Yeah, yeah. No, we're going to be good. We're going to be good. We have the stuff um, on there. I'll make sure that I bring uh, the the Wham Jams. Oh, please. And, uh, you know, Toto's Africa. Oh. And do that. On loop. On loop. Um, you know, this is the, I, I think this is the first time, I know we've mentioned it a thousand bajillion times, the guy's camping trip. Mm-hmm. Um which is funny because I'm not I'm not sure. Let me see if I open this up. We we haven't made it a secret that because we we are um you know, people that want to be on top of things. Uh let me let me check into this. Um No, this ep- this episode's uh airing June the 20th. Perfect. It is. I don't know. This episode's airing sometime, but it's going to be before. I was before the trip. I was going to see if this is before <laughs> or after the trip. But we've talked about the guys' camping trip, and I try to remember what order we record these in. But sometimes we jump around and we yeah, do we're definitely things. jumping around. Um, and that's just but. because we want to bring you quality shows. We don't want to give you a bunch of junk that's like, oh, okay, we just fill it up. Um, but this is the first time that I will mention we are actually going to take the recording equipment with, with us. With us, yeah. So we we will have audio from the trip to the guys' camping yeah. trip. Uh, we'll we'll have it there. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to record, but that's the cool part about it. Uh, who knows is it going to be there uh, we won't be able to go live on it um, no. but what will be nice uh, is that you know I'm hoping that we'll get enough audio to uh, considering our episodes are anywhere between like 40 minutes and, and an hour mm-hmm. we could get a couple episodes oh, uh, yeah. of and would it be really cool to actually once we all shower get all the guys back in here for commentary yes after the trip once we come back oh yeah to have the whole group in yeah, here yeah yeah to yeah. get everybody in here we're going to need a That'd bigger boat uh, yeah so uh, we, we'll be recording there. That's going to be exciting. I have no idea what we're going to expect. Uh, what I do know for sure is that it's going to be good. The listeners of the show are going to really enjoy. It's going to be good. Uh, it's going to be really good. Uh, I can tell you this: uh, there's going to be guys. Uh, a lot of uh, Costco provided beer. Uh, I don't drink, so I'm going to do my best to uh, bring you along and to show you what it is that I get to see along this trip. Uh, will be fun. Um, but yeah, this is the first time we're talking about it that we'll do that. I'm not mm-hmm. sure when that episode will air. Uh, just all the more reason to stay tuned to the Logan Stover show. Bing. <laughs> Depends how long it takes to censor and edit it. Depends how long. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's like I can imagine the stuff that I record in the beginning, like saying, hey guys, remember, it's a family show. Don't curse or anything, but have fun. And then like stuff. two Costco bears later. <laughs> yeah, like, and then Danny just coming on and Danny just being, ah, damn, beep, 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 and I'm just having to make the beep noises because I don't have access to, like, a beep noise machine. Um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> Bass Pro Shop, Matt. It's the best place ever. So, in, in, in basically, in conclusion, we I know this is kind of funny that we go all over the place. And that's what we do. And that's why we know you love the Logan Stover Show. But uh, we talk about things, and they're off there, and we say we have to tell you about them. Because if you don't, uh, or if you agree, let us know about it. Uh, Bass Pro Shops is awesome. We mm-hmm. both love Bass Pro Shops. Uh, as with anything, we want to hear from you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the episode now. Okay. That's that's kind of where this it's is about going. time. Right? It's another segue in case because my segues are so smooth here, Matt. I never even noticed. Didn't even know what happened. Didn't even know. <laughs> Get in touch with us. Uh, we want to know what you think about the chores, any of the junk that me and Matt complain about. That could be in any episode, uh, but specifically <laughs> the things that we talk about being around the house, either with your own house or you have your own. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, uh, head over to the show page, loganstovershow.com. On the page, you can find all the ways to contact us, all of our videos, all of our podcast episodes. Uh, you can also support the show page. There's everything that you need to know there. Uh, and one of the things that they should be finding information on soon is our Walk for Water, right? Absolutely. All right. So uh, we always say here are two goals, to make you smile and laugh and to help people. So how do we help people? One things we're going to do is the first annual Walk for Water on July 5th. Logan and I will be walking... Uh, August. August August 5th. 5th. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, so we're going to be walking um, down the 
Pacific Coast to raise money to buy water purification straws for people in need. So if you are in the Southern California area, please come down and join us. Um, If you cannot join us, please make a donation. If you can't donate, tell somebody about it. Anything you can do is greatly appreciated. Um, Check out our show page for more info on that, and there will be a lot more information coming soon. You did a good job on that, Matt. Thanks. Except for the part where you said it was in July. But it's okay. Yeah, you know. You've done a good job about it. You're, Thanks, I, I have a problem with dates. You have a problem with show numbers. I have a problem with any of the numbers. So, you know. So, yeah. With, I, with I, our I, powers combined, we get through it. That's the reason why you do it is because you remember <laughs> the date and I don't. Um, Except for today. Yeah, definitely help, us, <laughs> definitely help us out with our show. Again, that's just what we want to do is we want to help other people out. My favorite part of when you mention that out is like we're – if you're listening and you can't donate, I get it, dude. I get it. If you can't, we've all been there. We've can't been there. Donate, done that. Yeah. Uh, we don't need any money. We want you either to challenge yourself or to let other people know about it. Say, hey, there's a couple of knuckleheads who have this like internet podcast radio show. They try to make people laugh. They fall short of that, but they try to help people, <laughs> and they're genuine about that. So try to, you know, hey, why don't you go and listen to? It? I know you want to help people. There you go. Help us out. Or even if you just give us words of encouragement, because we're both doing it. It's 13.2 miles. Words of encouragement is helping. We're going to go a long way. We've even said, if it's just us two that show up, we're still going to do it. It's going to happen. So, uh, it, again, if you want to support the show, head over to the support uh, our show page. It's on, again, loganstoversshow.com. There's a couple different ways you can support our uh, show. You either donate directly through PayPal, uh, and or you can also donate through Amazon. Amazon's really easy. Uh, our listeners have told us that that's their favorite way. It's really, you just do the shopping that you do on Amazon. It's super easy. That's all you have to do. Yeah, you just go onto our website. If you're going to go on Amazon, you're going to buy kitty litter. That's kind of a random thing. but And hey. we all know we all blow our paychecks on Amazon anyway. Right. So just before you go to Amazon, head to our show page, click on support the show, and then right there's a link. It'll take you to Amazon, and then anything that you get from there will get a small proceed from it. I emphasize the word small, but still, anything that comes into us from what you do is going to be used to go to these programs that we have. So uh, on that note, did you have fun today? I had fun. Today. I had a great time. Do I sound like a game show host that you lost right now? Like you lost on the game <laughs> show? Did you have <laughs> fun, <laughs> man? <laughs> Don't sad face. Okay. Well, uh, we appreciate you coming to the show. Hope that you enjoyed listening to us complain about chores and our love for Bass Pro Shops and the upcoming camping trip. Uh, we are always glad that you join us. Don't forget to join us every Tuesday. Uh, Every Tuesday, we release a new podcast episode, Mm -hmm. and that's available on iTunes and on our website, as well as the video. So I leave you with the kind words of Roger Lodge that I pass on to you. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift from God. Thanks, and you have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye. Take care.